Hey guys, it's time to unbox uh, a phone that I bought almost one month ago and uh, it's called as the Redmi Note 3. It's uh, pretty popular worldwide, uh, especially I think in India and uh, the reason for that is coming at really uh, low price, budget price and, and it's giving uh, really good specs. So yeah, this is the box we have and uh, good thing about this phone is that it's coming with a Qualcomm chipset which I prefer our MediaTek processors, you know. And so it has some really awesome specs. If we take a look at the back of the box, so it's, uh, it has Snapdragon 650, uh, 4000 milliamp hour battery, 5.5 inch 1080p display, it's also having 32 gigs of internal memory with three gigs of RAM. So yeah, uh, the main reason why I bought this phone, I mean, it got released like eight months ago. The reason for that is that uh, I want to compare it to some of the devices that is coming around, that are coming around uh, with the, this price range, you know, around 200, 250, 300 price point devices, some new Samsung phones like Redmi or not Redmi actually, the uh, Grand, not Grand, what the hell was the name? Yeah, Galaxy J7 uh prime yeah that phone so so you can see that this is the phone we have it also has premium build quality like you're not gonna see plastic on this phone it's just super well built phone you know so we're gonna take a look at what else we get inside the box and also it's been receiving some updates okay oops and this thing uh is of course some some paperwork and then we have the the charging cable I think it's a USB type C not quite sure so let's see here okay no it is not type C so it's a USB 2.0 uh, port so and also we get the charger here uh, which is pretty set standard and uh, this phone does support fast charging so that is great and we're gonna do a quick look off the phone okay I'm just gonna move the accessories to the side and uh, a lot of websites do offer um, the this phone you know worldwide so you can buy uh, buy this phone you know wherever you are I think it's available uh, pretty much everywhere uh, even on Amazon so I will leave some links down below in the description so you can check it out and I'm just gonna remove the plastic from the front side and wow it's a big phone 5.5 inch but but of course for me it's it's uh, pretty okay I love big screen phones let's put this one up also let me know what uh, kind of uh, videos you want to see you know uh, like I said, I will be comparing it to some some of the new phones, so it uh, got booted. And I actually did play it with this phone for some time. It says, in a previous Android version, you turned off access to your location, not now. Um, yeah, I, I remember I did use this phone like for, for one hour, I don't know. But, but yeah, uh, I really like the, the UI. You got all your toggles. I'm just gonna decrease exposure here so you can see all the toggles. Uh, it also has this uh, read mode, okay, uh, which is basically like uh, the night mode we have on uh, OnePlus 3 and uh, like on other phones also. Then uh, we can go into settings and confirm the the version, okay. So settings, the uh, settings UI, the settings. Uh, colors and everything looks really good kind of like a little bit like stocky look you know and here is a full look of the specs so we do have Android version 5.1.1 lollipop now uh, it is running on lollipop the the marshmallow is actually available for this phone uh, but it's like uh, in beta stages like in not official thing is available at the moment so uh, yeah uh, once it get updated of course I will make a video about it you can see we got 24 gigabyte of uh, free space available which is more than enough and uh, you can put a micro SD card inside of this device so uh, like I said really well built the buttons are nice and uh, at the bottom of course we got the charger we got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as 
I believe this is an IR blaster. You do have the fingerprint sensor on the back, uh, the camera, and a dual LED flash. This is, I think, 13 megapixel camera. So uh, let's take a look at the camera. Uh, we also get these touch keys down here, uh, which are also good. So uh, let's see here. Camera is this is their typical UI. I mean, nothing special. Uh, you can swipe like this. Okay, no, you can check out mode. That was really fast. Timer and everything. And then also you can record videos up to 1080p. This cannot record up to 4K. And we also have a 5 megapixel front camera. So yeah, I will be doing a full review of this phone. Let me know if you guys are interested in Xiaomi phones. We'll be comparing it to some phones, you know, some top end phone and see how this phone stacks up and uh, yeah the Redmi Note 4 is also released uh, I don't know if it's gonna be available at the moment but yeah I mean that phone also features a media tech chipset so uh, the Redmi Note 3 is like really the all-time famous successful phone from Xiaomi so yeah I would love to do all the comparison if you guys want to see interested in seeing them and uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.